name is Alpha Tijan Wuri. I am the Minister of Health and Sanitation. We, we don't get exposed to Ebola in this country. We show that when we do all the social distancing, the right hygiene, we're able to end Ebola in this country. Since Sierra Leone was declared Ebola free, five years has passed with remarkable development in the health sector. The Sierra Leone Health Ministry, under the leadership of Professor Dr. Alpha T. Wui, has had significant improvements made in all facets of the health sector. Ranging from surveillance, laboratory, risk communication, emergency preparedness and response, point of entry, logistics and human resources. Today, 117 Emergency Toll Free Call Center, commonly known as 117, has helped Sierra Leoneans to recover from the scourge of the Ebola outbreak. National Ebola response. Now, folding up its role played in Sierra Leone, the ministry, now under the leadership of Professor Dr. Alpha T. Wuri, decided to institute a new strategy sector. We want the rest of the Sierra Leone people to be comfortable and confident that the Ministry of Health 2019 is not the Ministry of Health 2014 that the Ministry of Health 2019 now has scientific laboratories that even search for the diseases before it comes out. Public Health National Emergency Operations Center is now charged with the responsibility to ensure preparedness, detection, and response to public health outbreak. Leading to containment as the sector will act the same as National Ebola Response Committee, NAC. This was not just what the people of Sierra Leone needed. Professor Dr. Alpha T. Wuri knows exactly what a country that has been set free from the Ebola epidemic need as a nation. In the bid to ensure that the people of Sierra Leone deserves and enjoys prosperity and positive transformation, captained by the New Direction government. This is a new direction. We've set a high standard for ourselves. We should afford to live within that. Be professional, deliver. So ladies and gentlemen, I want us to feel free with one another. Walk seamlessly. Let's go down in history as a group of Australians who saved Australia. Within less than two years in office, the Minister of Health and Sanitation has been able to not just map out a comprehensive plan with speed and precision, but also to construct, equip and launch state of the art medical center or hospital, which are the maternity hospitals situated in Lukopo. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is on this promising hopeful note that we officially open today the Kokupa Hospital. Thank you very much. The maternity ward in Kailangu district, Kenema Government Hospital and the Satellite Hospital Kinhana Road. Going to Ghana, a song chant by 50 nurses and midwives who have been selected by MSF and the Ministry of Health and Sanitation for professional training in Ghana in the fight to rebuild the health sector of the nation. It has not always been easy individually for you throughout this learning journey. We've done all this with great professionalism. And professionalism is now your duty. 
as nurses and midwives. It had not been easy leaving home to be elsewhere. It had not been easy. But pertaining to the training that I've had in Ghana, I'm very much happy because it makes a difference. The beauty of the whole program was that we were able to have the opportunity to train foreign students, something that we had not been exposed to before. Two years after they arrived back in Sierra Leone, the world is facing another pandemic. This time, it is a real test for Professor Dr. Alpha T. Wui as head of the health sector and his nurses. On the 31st of December 2019, China alerted the WHO to several cases of an unknown flu in Wuhan City, a city of 100 million people. For Sierra Leoneans, this new outbreak was a panic attack, considering the last experience of the epidemic outbreak of the Ebola in 2014. My name is Mamadi Gubekama, I'm the Deputy Minister for Information and Communications. I shall say by now you could all hear um, but this corona sick we don't bust out across the world. Even bigger nations than we before now be the things they get um, stronger health systems. We see how corona don't enter the nations and they and how it ravage. But this new virus from another continent, with Sierra Leone being one of the last African countries to register its index case. In my first address to the nation, I had indicated that it was not a matter of whether or when. Ladies and gentlemen, the when is here. I have called this press conference today to announce that Sierra Leone has registered its index case. Case number one is imported. I repeat, case number one is imported. He is a male, 37 years old, and came to Sierra Leone from France on Air Brussels flight on the 16th of March 2020. He was immediately placed in quarantine. He was tested at the end of his quarantine period and his result came back as positive. 31st of March 2020, the media breaks. Had got worried, but the health sector stood a firm. Professor Dr. Alpha T. Wee and team went right to work, and fighting corona this time will be different from the Ebola epidemic fight. Adverse cases were already ongoing as the social distancing and regular hand washing. Local radios and ambulances are now in full active duties. A nation that has been fighting to regain its strength in the economy under the new direction has to now face another challenge in fighting to keep the virus off from spreading. But this time, stopping the COVID-19 has to be the fight of every citizen together. Man. I know you left for the other man. 